John, obviously, there are very few people within or even outside aviation at this point who haven't heard of Aircel. Uh, on the commercial side, uh, you've made quite a presence over the last year in particular. But let's start first with the announcements that you made this morning uh, about uh, a more specific targeting of business aviation operations. What do you have in mind for the BizAv community? Well, in terms of the announcements we made today, probably the most significant one was the introduction of usage-based pricing. Uh, to date, Aircel has offered flat rate pricing, which has proved very popular with most of the operators. But for those operators who fly maybe one week a month, they're finding that they'd like more flexibility in their pricing. The second announcement we made this morning is to do with a road show where we're going to be going around the U.S. at various industry locations, explaining the issues around connectivity, giving people a sense for the different systems that are available today, the pros and cons of those different systems, and what they're best targeted for. So trying to kind of educate the industry in terms of what works best for what application. What kind of uh, hardware support is necessary to implement an air cell solution for business aviation right now? So today, to introduce high-speed internet onto a business aviation aircraft, we uh, just require one box and two antennas, and it so happens we have them right here in front of us. We have two of these small omnidirectional antennas which go on the belly of the aircraft, and this one single LRU, small, compact, weighs less than 15 pounds. It's been fitted on everything from a Global Express down to a Cessna 421, and it's a great box to put on the aircraft to deliver broadband system, broadband speeds to your aircraft when you're flying. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. What makes the air cell solution different from anything we've seen before? The speeds for one thing. I mean, we're talking about megabits a second to the aircraft. We're talking about very low latency. So you have a DSL-like experience on the aircraft. And in previous systems that have been introduced, there was always a latency associated with satellite. And the data rates, frankly, were substantially lower than we were able to offer. So for the first time, you're really seeing true broadband ground-type experiences available on the aircraft. Uh, what kind of investment has been made by this company to be able to service uh, the world at this point on this scale? Uh, we now have almost 100 ground towers operating over North America, delivering seamless coverage coast to coast. There are almost 1,000 aircraft that are equipped now, both between the airline and the business aviation side, and something in the order of 3,000 flights a day take place every day over North America with thousands of people using the system. Customer satisfaction is very high, and we don't have any really issues with dropouts. The network's performing flawlessly, and we're just ecstatic with the way the system's running. There's a number of folks in the general aviation community operating uh, light turbine, uh, heavy, uh, or, or higher uh, performance piston. Kind of wondering if you've got any ideas for us down the line. Absolutely. If you think that uh, 20 years ago, when I first, as a young graduate, entered avionics, to buy a GPS unit took a box about this big. Today, I have a GPS unit in this. So I don't see any reason why, over time, the technology that's in this box will get smaller and smaller. So over time, I think it's absolutely almost inevitable that we will extend broadband service down into the general aviation community and down into very small aircraft. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. In terms of where we are today, we have nine of the top 10 airlines in North America who have signed up. Several of those fleets are already completely deployed, and over the next year or so, we'll see their rollout continue until most of the aircraft in North America offer broadband service to their passengers and beyond. What we're finding interestingly is that people in the air do exactly in the air what they do on the ground. So the most popular websites that we see are the same most popular websites you see on the ground. eBay, YouTube, Amazon, Facebook. People are using it just to extend their internet lives into the air. 
can you kind of take out the air cell crystal ball and talk about what an air cell is going to look like five, ten years hence? Um, we do spend a lot of time looking at data trends. Uh, obviously, privacy is very important both in business aviation and commercial. So we don't look at exactly all the data that people are consuming. But we do get a very good idea of how much data is being used, growth rates, adoption, and so on and so forth. Five years out, we're going to see an air cell that has probably migrated from existing 3G ground-based technology onto 4G technology. Then the speeds to the aircraft are in the order of hundreds of megabits per second. As we look at the way devices are emerging, and the iPad being a great example of the way content is becoming king today, so we see the desire to want to have networks that support our content usage in future years. So we're very much well positioned to migrate into higher speed networks over the next few years as their need arises. So to my mind, inside the next five to 10 years, it'll be very, very hard to find an aircraft that doesn't offer broadband speeds, allowing you to do whatever you want to do with it in the same way you do whatever you want to do with the internet on the ground.